Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope all you guys are having a good day. I had a good day and well it's probably morning when I post this so it doesn't make sense but today is Friday. I hope you had a good Friday but we're in the garage working on the trucks. Mason's working on his truck. He's got his battery box mounted where he's gonna put it. He's working on mounting his air dog. He is gonna put the battery box up front there. Um, let's see here. He got a new seat for the truck. He got a wiring harness for the truck to run turn signals, stand alone and everything. And he got this nice Kirky racing seat. This thing weighs like four or five pounds maybe. It's really nice. It's actually fitted to him. He went to a race shop and got fitted for it and then ordered the correct size. And I think that's pretty much all the new parts he got. I think, oh, he got this nice battery box. You guys have not seen it yet, I don't think. Here's part of it. I don't know where the other part is. It's somewhere. Anyways, I have the 12 valve pulled in here, my donor truck for the uh, shorty swap. And I'm just working on getting the motor pulled out of this thing. It's really gross. It's a mess. It has tons of oil leaks. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to stay clean and get this thing out. I uh, still got a little ways to go. I'm hooking stuff on this side and hooking the engine wiring. This thing actually has a turbo off of a first gen on it. This is an H1C turbo. It's in perfect shape, but it's not the turbo that should have came on the truck. I think it should have had HX35, but that's interesting. Um, yeah, just basically pulling all the wiring off. I got the intercooler radiator out of the truck. Uh, I got all my hoses and everything unhooked, my air conditioning lines unhooked. I'm trying to save all this stuff. All this stuff is going to be going into the new truck. Um, and I want everything to be as if it were factory. So that being said, I'm trying to keep everything as nice as absolutely nice as possible and just all in one piece. So we'll see how this goes trying to accomplish this. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, just looks like I got a couple things I need to unhook, but anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set time lapse up and we'll just start ripping this thing up. Wonder why it leaked the oil. That's a good reason why. Got it pulled out of there. I had to take the tire off of it because this truck's lifted so high I couldn't even get it over any of the cross members. But I finally got it out, took the tires off, let the air out of this tire. Now I've got to pull all this wiring off, try to salvage all this engine harness. 
so I can transfer over to the other truck. For now, I'm going to move this engine over here and get it put on a stand and out of the way. It's pretty nasty. Really needs pressure washed before I do anything. Okay, guys, now I'm doing the fun work of pulling all this wiring off and everything. Pretty much everything that I think that I'm going to need, which is pretty much all of it. All these vacuum lines, these battery boxes. Obviously, I'm going to put the twin batteries in that truck. So I'm just trying to switch everything over or get everything pulled off I'm going to need. It's hard to sort out what has been added on ghetto-ness. Like, this is literally how they were running their rock lights on the truck. This is an extension cord out of a house. It would literally be cheaper to just buy automotive grade wire, but they used an extension cord. So, just trying to sort out what is bullshit and what is actual wiring that I need to take off and get it all pulled off and uh, that way I don't have to mess with this truck anymore. Guys, I'm also working on getting a new da a new style dash um, off of uh, a buddy that had, um, we're gonna be getting a new style dash that will run all the full valve accessories and everything, the tachometer and everything, but it'll be in that new style dash. I'm gonna have to buy a whole new dash harness specifically for a 98 12 valve, but I think I have one located and it's cheap enough that it would be stupid to go with mess to mess with pulling all this out it would literally be worth more of my time to just go buy all the stuff to make that dash work and then the only thing i'll have to do to that dash is get a new top for it but everything um, else would be the same so i'm working on doing that or i'm sorry i don't i don't really know yet anyways he he knows what i'm gonna need to be able to do this and he's gonna hook me up with everything to do it so that way I can have a functioning dash. You know, tachometer works, air conditioning, everything is just how it would be from the factory. That's the goal overall. So, but I am gonna go ahead and start ripping the engine harness off this because I'm probably gonna need it regardless. And then I'll put the truck outside until I figure out what I need to do with everything inside of it. So I'll start pulling this stuff off. It's really a chore to be honest, but I'll get it all. Okay guys, I'm, uh, I've am i got a lot of this wiring pulled off this thing and I started pulling off even more of it, pretty much the entire wiring harness. And I don't really know what route I'm gonna go right now. I know I told you guys earlier I was gonna buy the new style dash, everything to make that work, but I, I really don't know at this point. I'm honestly a little confused and overwhelmed with everything, trying to figure out what all I need. Because like I'm looking at little stuff like this main harness here has like a plug for this. I'm assuming it's some type of ABS sensor. It's just really not uh, gonna be, um, I don't really know if it's gonna be worth me even trying to salvage in this wiring if I can just go buy the 98 stuff, which is that holy grail year where it's the new style dash and it has a 12 valve. So, I mean, if that's the route I can go, that's what I wanna do, but I mean, if I'm gonna have to pay a massive amount of money for it. I mean. Is it worth my time to mess with all this or should I just go buy all that? I really don't know at this point, so um, I'm gonna go up to uh, Jordan Jackson's tomorrow and see what all he has and see if he can set me up with everything to just make it a 98 style um, harness and everything, which I'm, I'm really just kind of 
in limbo right now trying to figure this out so um, come over here on Mason's truck and he has his he got his air dog mounted ended up putting two or three bolts to the frame you just use the spacer block and got it mounted it looks really good right there he got his new battery box mounted and uh, it's permanently that's where it's gonna be the air dog is permanently mounted and Corey and Mason are just trying to uh, learn a little about a little bit about this wiring because Mason still wants to have tail lights and everything on the truck so he bought the standalone harness for everything and he's just trying to figure it all out right now I'm just kind of messing with it but I'm just getting stuff mounted on the truck so Bailey is building another trailer for his razor this is probably the most legit one I've seen so far come out of this whole voyage he's been building razor trailers out of lawnmower trailers and breaking them and pulling them up in neon this is probably the best one i've seen so yeah i don't really know what the goal is here but right on all right guys i know my face is probably covered in grease at this point so you just have to deal with that but i'm gonna call it for tonight i got a lot done i got the motor completely out every the whole front end of the truck pulled off and I, uh, I got a lot more done than I thought I was going to but I'm just kind of in limbo right now with this wiring deal I don't know what I'm gonna do I just want everything to be clean and as if it was gonna come from the factory and I'm just trying to execute the uh, most efficient way that I can do that so the reason why it's such a big pain is because it's a special year truck it's a 98 so nothing's gonna be plug and play if it was a 97 it would be a lot simpler but since it's a 98 it's that one year the I mean I, I really don't know what route I'm gonna go um, at this point so I may end up having to go find another donor truck I started to pull everything out of this one and the uh, the entire interior of the what do you call it the entire dash wiring harness is cut it's cut a lot worse than I thought it was there's parts where there's like four or five wires cut and I'm just not gonna put that in the truck and then be able to sleep at night with it in my garage I, I, I can't fathom the, the thought of, of putting something together that could have like an electrical fire and I'm just not gonna do it so um, this is gonna set us back a little bit I'm gonna have to go get all this stuff from somewhere but just the way it goes and we'll get all the right stuff and we'll, we'll put it all together the right way and it'll just it's gonna be a clean project and we're not gonna cut corners so yeah that's where I'm at that's gonna wrap up the end of the video see you guys on the next one